Hi, I'm Ruby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a tag. Wow. I was tagged by Amy from A Star Reads to do this tag. I'm so excited. Thank you, Amy. Um, if you haven't seen her channel, you haven't seen any of her videos before, I highly recommend. I will link her channel down below. I'm gonna link a lot of things down below. So just like scroll down a little bit after you watch this because there's some goodies down there probably. I can't recommend her channel highly enough, honestly. She reads pretty widely. Um, so no matter what kind of books you like to read, she probably reads some of that and you're gonna find something that you like there. Um, I really like that she does a monthly nonfiction review. I think that's something I don't see that much of on booktube and I do read some nonfiction myself. So I like to see that. And uh, her reviews, they're so insightful. They always have like a little something. Like even if I've heard somebody talk about a book over and over, then once Amy is talking about it, like she has a little, she puts a little zest on it, a little something extra. Yeah, the way that she understands and then explains like a book's essence is superb. What can I say? Huge fan. Anyway, let's do the tag. The original creator of this tag is Rainier Books. I'm gonna link the original video down below also. Uh, I think it's a really fun one, a little different. So let's do it. <laughs> Okay, the first question is, what camera do you use for your videos? Uh, the iPhone XS. I use my phone and this little tripod. Um, I guess now is a good time to say, to admit, perhaps, that I do possess a bachelor's degree in filmmaking. So this is what I'm doing with that. Um, and you know, gear is fun right but it's not the end all be all of making movies like i do have a dslr and it might produce a better image but the iphone is so much easier and it's like perfectly fine and it's because it's easier i'm more likely to do it you know so yeah gear can get in the way okay Okay, so speaking of filming and like being your own director, which I am a bad director, I do not know how to direct. So in many ways, all of my videos are completely without direction and I think probably could use some. So, so the second question is, do you have a favorite film director? And the short answer is no. The long answer would probably also be no, if I were to get into it. This is such a cop out, but I don't have one. I'm very sorry. Let's move on. What microphone do you use and what program do you use to edit your videos? <laughs> the microphone that I use is the one that is on the phone. <laughs> and it has been pointed out to me that I should get a microphone. And I will, I think, eventually. But I just haven't yet. Anyway, I edit my videos with iMovie. And I hate it. <laughs> it is so hard to get that program to do like even the simplest things. Like I don't do any crazy editing um, on my videos, okay? They're pretty standard. It's pretty much just like cut out the parts where I say um and uh a million times and that's it. But everything is hard with iMovie. I am dying to get my hands on Premiere Pro, but it's not in the budget right now. And Film school could never teach you how to use iMovie, is all I'm saying. Like, that program, whatever. It's, it's been rough, but it's kind of been a fun challenge, we'll say. Question four is, do you remember the first record you bought or were given as a gift? And the answer is that I have never owned a vinyl record. The first CD that I ever owned was either Baby One More Time by Britney Spears or Let Go, Avril Lavigne's first album. And I would say that those are both still bangers. Question five is how do you prepare for your videos? Do you have a script, just talking points? What? Um, I have talking points. I have, uh, at this very moment, I have the questions written out on my computer, which I am holding right here. Uh, and then I have just a couple of bullets uh, I do that for most of my videos and sometimes I don't 
necessarily look at that, but it does help me get my thoughts in order before I sit down to film. Question six is about TV shows. What are your favorite TV shows ever? Name a maximum of three. So first off, Bones. That is my favorite TV show ever, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm pretty sure. I've always loved reading and watching shows about Sherlockian investigators. Like in Bones, she is such an expert in something so strange and she sees things that other people don't see or don't assign meaning to and she can use those subtle clues to form a picture that would otherwise be impossible. I love that. And I think Bones is maybe the only woman on TV doing that. And I've had a crush on David Boreana since day one. Okay, anyway, moving on. Another favorite is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Again, David Boreana's, but more importantly, Sarah Michelle Gellar at her peak, right? Like the fashion, the hair, the camp, but also like she's, you know, just a teen but has this dark destiny or whatever. Like <laughs> that show is such a comfort show for me. I, I return to it in times of distress uh, or illness. <laughs> so yeah, so good. And finally, uh, I would like to give a shout out to Twin Peaks, which I have not watched in quite a while, but I do think of it often and very fondly. Just has this mix of weird and woodsy and eerie and then sometimes shockingly normal. And Special Agent Dale Cooper is, I think, the absolute best government employee to ever be on television, ever. Uh, Amy gave a shout out, an honorable mention to The Great British Bake Off, and I'm going to do the same because that's another show that I can just put on whenever. It's a feel good, feel good moment, inspiring. It's funny, it's fun, it's so pure of heart, you know you know what it's like. <laughs> Next question, what kind of booktube videos do I like to watch? Uh, I love TBR games. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. The more unhinged, the better. Chaotic, I love it. Uh, but I also love reading vlogs, even if it's not themed or it's just, I don't know, yeah, I just like I like the vlog style. I like when people are like casual and there's like pets and especially right now when the people that I interact with regularly it's it's pretty much just my partner so to get this little glimpse at someone else's just like day to day I love <laughs> I also really like watching wrap-ups and tags the only thing I really don't like are hauls just not my thing next uh, and final, last question, what kind of media user are you? This is kind of an interesting one to me. So, I mean, I do watch some TV. Uh, Connor and I watch an episode or two of whatever our current show is uh, in the evenings most days. Right now we're watching The X-Files. Um, and then I also watch YouTube. I watch booktube videos, of course, but I also watch some like cooking and baking channels and also like sewing, quilting, that kind of stuff I like. Um, audiobooks, of course, but I also listen to podcasts. Uh, a recent favorite has been the Lolita podcast. We'll link below. Um, I also like Gastropod if you're interested in like food science or food history. That's a great one. And Ologies. I used to really love, I haven't listened in a while, but there's definitely some really interesting stuff in there. So I love that. And that's kind of it. Okay, so that's the end of the tag. Hopefully that was kind of interesting to someone. Um, <laughs> the tradition here would indicate that I should now tag somebody else, but those kinds of decisions uh, make me feel distraught. So I'm just gonna say, if you want to do this tag, I'm tagging you. And please let me know in the comments if you, if you do it, because I want to watch it, okay? Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you again to Amy for tagging me to do this. What a hoot.
uh, um, it's been a blast and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.